make me hop on tracks like I bought mats with me in gloves. So this right here, thank you if you ever showed us love from block for real. Gained during the investigation phase of the case, I filed two felony counts. Tonight, the Clay County prosecutor announces charges against an 85 year old man accused of shooting a teenager in a case of a mistaken address. The teenager, Ralph Yarl, is now out of the hospital at home recovering tonight. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Hold. Andrew Lester tonight charged with felony assault in the first degree and armed criminal action. Fox Wars Russell Colburn was there for the Clay County prosecutor's announcement within the last hour. What else did we learn, Russ, from prosecutor Zachary Thompson? Well, we did just get our hands on this new charging document that really has a lot more information about the case, and it all came after that news conference with Thompson right here at the Clay County Courthouse that wrapped up about 40 minutes ago live here on Fox 4. Take a look at a new mug shot here of Andrew Lester. Prosecuting attorney Zachary Thompson says the 85-year-old white man shot 16-year-old black teen Ralph Yarl Thursday night. He's now wanted for assault in the first degree, a Class A felony that could be punishable by up to life life in prison. He also faces charges of felony armed criminal action, which is punishable by three to 15 years. He'll have a $200,000 bond. Today, Thompson made it clear Lester shot through a glass door at Jarl, who never entered the home. Jarl told police he was shot in the head and then on the ground in the arm. And he says Lester told him, quote, don't come around here. Jarl was trying to pick up his brothers, but went to the wrong house. Lester, meantime, told officers he was trying to go to sleep when he heard the doorbell and immediately went for his 32 caliber Smith & Wesson, saying he feared for his life, seeing Jarl on his doorstep. Prosecutors say he knowingly caused the serious physical harm to Jarl and announced those charges. Thompson standing by the KCPD investigation, saying nothing was out of the ordinary here, saying no one is above the law. What's up with the world? Welcome back to another episode of Off the Block TV with me, President Guy. Who else you thought it was going to be? Uh, thank you for tapping in with us today, man. We're going to be uh, getting into the story about Ralph Yarl, a 16-year-old um, boy from Kansas City, Missouri, that was shot in the head and then shot again. Uh, as reports say, he was stood over and shot again, all because he went to the wrong um, door in search of his siblings. He was supposed to be picking his little brothers up, and he ended up going to the wrong um, address knocking on the wrong door and instead of just letting him know that he was at the wrong house this man proceeded to shoot him you know shoot him and then shoot him again and um it's reported that it's an elderly white man that actually shot him so we all know what you know what the the how that went you know what the reason the motive behind that and it's now being reported because at first he was just picked up he wasn't charged with anything but now he's being charged that doesn't mean you know that he's gonna um that he's gonna be convicted it doesn't mean that he's gonna get served the the right amount of time that he's supposed to be served that don't mean that we just got the victory yet man but you know you know um the city was protesting and um the police force was feeling the pressure it's not just the south man it's not just mississippi it's not just texas it's not just florida where these racist animals live man and they 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 can't they can only hold it in for so long. And I guess, you know, with him being elderly, it's just, it's just, it's harder for him to contain it now. You know what I'm saying? And that leads to situations like this, man. You know, uh, prayers to the young man for a speedy recovery. You off the block with Prezi the guy. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this situation. Let's get it. Make me hop on tracks like I bought mats with me in gloves. So this right here, thank you if you ever showed us love from block. For real. <laughs>